Hello everyone and welcome back to Milo Farms. Well, we're up at the lake again today with the new jet boat. We're up at Lucky Peak Reservoir. We actually just passed uh, Max Creek uh, boat launch and campground and we're headed up uh, almost to Arrow Rock Dam. So coming up here around the corner in another uh, quarter mile maybe, you'll see uh, Arrow Rock Dam. And uh, at one point, Arrow Rock Dam was actually the tallest dam in the world when it was built. I mean, it was right here in Idaho. So we're going to go up here in the shade. It's nice and calm, crystal clear up here this morning. We're going to go up and kind of stop right below the dam and get some video of that. And then we're going to talk about this uh, headset communications uh, deal that we installed in the new jet boat. Um, it provides ear protection. It provides uh, the ability to listen to music and to be able to talk to all your occupants at the same time. So it's kind of cool, uh, and it works really well for that. It wasn't very expensive. Um, so I can link to the parts to it in the description of the video. But up here on the left, you can see Arrow Rock Dam is going to be appearing. Those orange uh, buoys that are floating out there is the maximum uh, area that you can go with a, a boat up to the dam. But we'll go up to it and uh, just kind of turn around, and I think we'll pull back here into the shade just a little bit and uh, take a look at this uh, communication system and kind of how we did it. So you can see coming up here, there's the dam right there. It's pretty close to full right now, but the uh, dam is, uh, the spillway I don't think is running all the way. So kind of cool right there to see that dam. They uh, refurbished that a few years ago and fixed it all up so it has some more modernized components. And then it generates a little bit of electricity as well on the right hand side there. I don't know if they still do, but at one point there was actually a guy that lived at the dam full time to maintain it and operate it. I don't know nowadays with automation and everything if that's still the case. Just want to get up here into the shade so we can actually see what we're talking about. It's a flight comm controller, and it's designed actually to be in an airplane, like a portable intercom in an airplane, uh, a small one like a Cub or something like that. Um, so what we actually did is we ended up uh, getting some clamps. We didn't want to drill any holes in the boat, so we got these little clamps off Amazon, and I mounted it to those clamps and then clamped it to that rail on the edge there. It has these communication wires as well that are back here that you could plug in if you actually had a radio that you wanted to talk through the headsets. And then it has plug-ins on the back here where you can see this 90 degree angle and then this other cord over here. Those are the audio inputs and outputs. That's how I was able to get the headset audio to go through the phone. And I can link to those parts in the description how I did that as well. But it also has the power coming in the front. And then right here, this little white wire coming out the back, that actually goes around to the extender that's over here on the other side. Excuse our lunch that we have packed in the ice packs and the towel there. But there's the extender on the other side for the passenger. So you have ports for the back seat passenger as well as the front seat passenger. And then on the other side, you have the ports for the driver and the other passenger. So you can do four headsets. So then these are the headsets we got here from Amazon. They were just the cheapest ones that they had that had good reviews made by Rugged Air. And they were about $80 a piece. So all together, this whole kit for two people was about 300 or so dollars. And then uh, if you wanted to add two more headsets, you'd be $160 or so to make it for four. And it works really well so far and is definitely reliable. It works really well so you can actually talk to your passengers and also have ear protection while you're at it. Um, so those work real well. So we're going to get going today and have a nice day out on the lake. You can see it's pretty nice out and smooth up here in the... Um, arm of the lake. It was a little rough down this morning at the bottom, but we'll go out and see what we can see today and have a nice day. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Remember, you can't finish your project without getting started.